Okay, next up we have Matt Ho. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Matthew Ho. Um, my project was in regards to recognizing gestural expression in humans. Um, the, the purpose of my research group was to have machines understand uh, human expression and movement in examples such as dance, art, or uh, conductoring, conductor gestures. Um, so we approached the problem by, like at the beginning of the semester, we defined a bunch of uh, primitive movements that we thought really classified all of uh, human expression physically. Um, so they were very simple. Um, they're all in regards to the different manners in which you can uh, move one particular joint uh, in many directions or at many velocities or at different accelerations. Um, but after defining these, we, uh, sent, um, we, we started tracking all of these objects in, uh, connect, using a Kinect tracker. Um, we connect, collected positional data um, over time uh, with all these different primitive movements. And then uh, we tested different parameters of these movements in uh, using machine lear learning algorithms uh, to see if they were capable of defining the differences we uh, observationally determined in the movements. So for example, um, one movement might be faster or more rigorous than another. And we wanted to see if the computer could determine uh, to some certain confidence interval of how, how different two movements might be. Um, when I last came to you guys for an update, uh, we were just testing out this new uh, parameter that looked rather interesting. It was the, uh, the dot product of the positional velocity of each of the joints uh, in time. And we put all those values into machine learning algorithms. And we had these like rough graphs um, that like we thought meant something. They seemed very periodic. And then um, after some further testing over like the next month, uh, we got confidence intervals up to like totally over 80%. Um, between all the movements that we used, we were capable of uh, determining their differences um, to, to the degree of 80% every time, which is rather fantastic. Um, of course, there were very simple movements and there were rather uh, extremes uh, between each other, but it was in the past years that we've been, do, uh, that my group has been working on this project, it was rather significant in what we were able to accomplish. Um, and then for the rest of the semester, uh, we were working a lot on uh, writing up all of our notes and all of our, and writing papers for different competitions and events uh, about the work that we'd done over the past few semesters. Um, so in some things that aren't particularly mentioned on this poster, I worked on some miscellaneous projects within my group. Um, so for example, I worked on a uh, OSE messaging system between computers that were capable of getting live connect data into uh, like a program like MATLAB, which could rapidly uh, make judgments and adjustments to a graphical interface. Um, it's very straightforward. In addition, Guy Garnett, who is my mentor, had another project starting up involving um, creating like uh, physics simulation games for students um, at a museum that are trying to learn about different physics topics. So I've been working on that for the past few months. Um, and in, in summary, uh, my project really allowed me to focus on different physical implementations uh, using machine learning and having them capable of defining uh, physical si learning and defining physical systems uh, by their, themselves through their own machinations. Um, yeah, so uh, if there's any questions or I didn't say anything specific, please let me know. Uh, yeah. So you use the Connect to uh, gather information data? Uh, yes. Right. Um, do you think it's possible to do accurate gesture recognition using only cameras? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, especially with the new technologies that came out with the Kinect 2.0, uh, we were, like, there were some concerns in the regards that um, at certain positions where perhaps joints overlapped, there was a lot of error seen in the Kinect data. Um, but the whole purpose of our, uh, of our project was to see if it was possible for positional data to define uh, human expressive movement, um, not just like the emotions on their faces or things like that. Right. Um, and we were capable of proving that to a high degree of confidence. Um, so yeah, I think so. Um, as 
tracking gets better um, and we're capable of learning more about not only uh, dance and expression but also biophysics we're thinking of implementing to this project um, and specifically how muscles interact with uh, the joint ligament system. Uh, it could go drastically farther than this and um, it's just from if you can see and only receive data from your eyes and be capable of uh, like determining the expression in someone's movement, then I'm sure then exactly a computer should be able to do that okay. with given enough training. Uh, a personal project which I've been working on, uh, which is related to this, is using my laptop's webcam for okay. gesture re recognition. Yeah. And based on some gestures, uh, lighting up certain electronics in my room. So if I point to a, t okay. a light, it should light up. Yeah. So, uh, and I was just generally using um, image forest for to determine where my hand was in a certain part. Yes. Uh, and then using that data, but that's really un inconsistent and it doesn't seem to work. Yeah. Um, so what would you? A would suggestion you? that I might right. make in that case is yeah, you already have the system of determining the position of your hand, um, but there are a lot of other factors that you can track, in, including the velocity of your hand. Um, if you make a sharp point when you go to an object, uh, the, there's going to be a spike in the velocity of your hand because it's going to return the other way. You'd be able to track that position in, in, in addition to not only your directional position. Um, so you should really look into farther uh, derivatives of what you're doing that, that can be a little bit more expressive of what, of what you're trying to accomplish. Right. Thanks. All right. Any other questions? Thank you very much.